I'm Greg Blythe, and this is Never a Dull Moment, and today we have a surprise. Sharp Edge Knife is one of the top knife stores. It's been around for a long time, and they contacted us after we did a review of one of their collaborations. I have to say that when I did the review, there were a lot of great points, good and bad, and they, when they reached out, they said they appreciated our honesty, and they agreed. They then later on asked us with their future collaborations, would it be possible if they sent us one of the knives whenever they happen to come around? And finally that day has come. Luca has been great in communicating with me, but I let him know, be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. So it's been quite a while. Then all of a sudden they reached us and reached out and they said, they're sending us something. And as you can see, the box is unopened. So we don't know what's in it. We had received an actual email link to let us know that it would be one of several knives that would be on the pre-order, which are gonna be available this week. You're actually, I think, already able to order and they won't even go out in the mail till the 23rd. So what you're gonna be seeing this coming Friday night, some of you are gonna be getting in the mail and it'll be Christmas for you. So it's Christmas for us and we're glad to share you know, with you the, the celebration and surprise that we're about to experience. So we kind of have a little insight into which blacksmith did what, but right now we are going to see the knife the moment you see the knife. So we're excited. So let's go ahead and open this. I want to make sure I don't cut that whatever's inside. So there's definitely some excitement because it's either going to be a very big bunka or a petty knife. Beautiful packaging as always that they have always gone the extra step. You almost hate to ruin it, but you got to get what's inside. All right, so this is a collaboration. This is Sharp Edge Knife with the makers of Suncraft. They're using ZDP 189 as the steel and it's made, as you can see, in Seki City, Japan. So let's see what we have in store for us. All right, well, I'm already surprised because it does have one of their beautiful sayas. That is definitely nice to see. This is something that you can actually buy on their website and they went ahead and included it in their collaboration. Sorry for the jump, guys. <laughs> Sorry. So um, we definitely, you know, definitely enjoy the fact that this is included. It's actually quite beautiful and very lightweight. Okay. Okay, so I can already tell from the size of this what we're going to be seeing. So this is going to be the 200 millimeter. I'm going to be shocked to see which color it is. We'll go ahead and get a quick view of that octagonal handle. This is their rosewood with black pack of wood. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is the 200 millimeter ZDP 189 Kuriichi with Tashimi Bunka. This 200 millimeter knife definitely stretches the uh, limit from where a Bunka becomes a Kuritsuke. You can see that there is a sand mai configuration. There is a softer metal on the outside to protect from vibration and, and to just the softer helps to endure. We have the extremely hard ZDP 189 core on the inside and you can see that core line. Yeah. We'll go ahead and get that fit and finish of how it's fitted into the handle. Make sure my wife doesn't cut herself as she approaches too close. True. All right, and we'll go ahead and get a shot of the choil. I can get it focused. It's always hard to do. It's very confused. It's trying to focus on your fingers. We're doing the best we can. Yeah, it's not. It's not. All right, so let's go ahead right, and. So we do have. Let me go ahead and just see how beautiful this fits. 
Of course, it fits great. Very okay, nice. Like and it's going it to be nice for the camera. There you go. So it's going to be definitely easier to carry when we're putting that in one of those knife rolls. If you didn't see last week's episode, you know that it'll help protect the edge. Mm -hmm. I had purchased another um, ZDP 189 knife from Sharp Edge Knife. And, uh, and it definitely had a little bit more significant weight to it. So it's nice to feel how lightweight this is. And we will definitely be doing some comparisons. As always, they like to throw in a little Band-Aid to say, watch your fingers. Luca wished that to me as well in the email. May this knife serve you long and well. Do not forget to watch your fingers, of course. All right. So, let's see, they have some other information in that's always included, which is how to maintain and everything. So just other little instructions that they like to include. They have some product details, some safety guidelines. Can always use another Band-Aid. I mean, hopefully not, but yeah. Yeah, you never want to use it, but you're glad that you have it. Okay. All right, so available to me before we start doing some of the sharp tests, I want to go ahead real quick and bring over some other knives that are in its class. Okay, so we have a 210 millimeter Kritsuke. And for those of you who want to get on me, Kritsuke. That makes you happy. But there is a TSU Kritsuke. So we have a 210 millimeter. We have the 170 millimeter. We have the 180 millimeter and 190 millimeter. And I want to just show off some of the dimensions of this knife in comparison. So first of all, let's compare the other ZDP 189. This one is uh, 10 millimeters longer. You can see that it's just a little bit thinner in the spine. Yeah. I have a custom handle on this one. I think the color too also makes it look like it's a little bit, I mean, it looks significantly thinner to me. It is thinner and I think that definitely cuts down the, on the weight. So even though it's longer, yeah. it's definitely thinner and we'll see how that performs when it comes to food wedging. Okay. All right, so, and just, just to get into it as well, the, this line that Suncraft has made in collaboration with um, Sharp Edge Knife, it is called Kohi. You know, I've been saying it like all day. Um, oh, am I going to not remember his name? Um, you can always add it at the, on the screen. You know what? So Kohi is the founder of Suncraft. And I have said his father's name all day. And for some reason right now, it is escaping me. I will put it at the father. Um, the reason that I wanted to put that in there, it is a collaboration. And Suncraft has been doing this for such a long time. And it's really nice work to see this with the, um, with the ZDP 189. I will definitely put the name of the father down here. Um, but we like to do this live. We don't like to do movie magic. So I made a mistake. I apologize. I'll put the name up there. I've said it so many times today now, it's just, just escaping me. All right, let's go ahead and compare it to the camo. Definitely, we're starting to see similarities in the thickness. Yeah, I mean, it's still... We'll go over here to the, um, yeah, well, look at this. This is the um, Kurosaki, and you can see Whoa. he's way thicker at the base. At the, at the heel going into the handle. So really, this knife is really right in line. Yeah. And let's go to the 210 millimeter, which is definitely much thicker all the way down. I mean, they might be similar. Those seem more similar. But um, I would say that this new collaboration actually is starting to taper a little bit. But yeah, no, very similar, very similar, I would say. Yeah, to me. Not that I know, but yeah. Very similar in the look. Um, this is a super blue, actually. So it's nice to see that the weight is down. Okay, well, I'm a Bunka fan, and for those of you, like the K-tip on this, to me, it just gives it a level of masculinity that I enjoy. It's the masculine version of the Santoku. 
Um, so before we cut anything with it, it's fresh out of the box. Yes. We're going to go ahead and do the, uh, the best tester. Okay, so we have got this bad boy ready. Let's light it up. I'm going to position this available for my wife. Let's tear it out. Sorry, tear it out. Now, I like to, just so you guys know, I like to let it fall, okay? So that way it's the knife, not me. So that's a fantastic score, a 105. I mean, I let the knife go, the sheer weight of it pushed it through. We like to do more than one test. I mean, 105 is like an awesome. I mean, we have seen 218 do amazing stuff, but 105 is a number, I mean, if you can get that out of the box, you're just having a fun day. And the fact that ZDP is such a hard steal, if it can keep an edge like that, for a long time that would be incredible all right so let's do another score and then let me tell you about this steel that's used for this knife all right one more time so we got a 120 so if we did an average we're at like 110 112 an incredible score anyone would want to have that so let me go ahead and move this out of the way and then let's have a little paper mache fun all right so first of all let's have some fun with the paper it came in just don't hit the tape don't hit the what? the tape there's tape on it yes so just <laughs> just fingertips did you see that guy? I mean, it's, that's a put, I mean, it just fell. Okay. You're really close. I'm, my, my fingers are close. I actually felt a little like whisper. Okay. Woo! That's a little danger zone. That's a little danger zone. Let's have some fun over here. So, we got the blueberry out, the customary. We got our regular paper. So, I like to just let it fall. I mean, literally fingers. There's like, my wife knows that the, the, the sound, sound. Mm -hmm. is so sweet. So I got my finger, you see my guard? They kind of protect me. Yeah. It's, got, it's got a little, I, I folded it. That's my bad. Let's do a little, do a little of this. I mean, it bit nice okay definitely gonna move on to the paper time can you imagine okay let's talk about zdp 189 whether it is zdp 189 is the hardest one there is hardest steel we're talking 66 on the hardness scale i mean people some people got it up a lot 66 it has a chromium content of 20 percent through the roof which means it is anti-corrosion more than any other knife so it's so stain less i mean stain no how about that so we've got an amazing sharp knife, super hard, that should retain its edge, sand knife, soft metal protection on the outside. As long as any normal chef knife, super thin. We're gonna check out the wedging in a minute. Let's do a little paper towel, a little hi-ya. That's, nice, that's a nice little cut right there. That was, that was me. So we got our cuts. Okay. Should we go ahead and do the blueberry? Let's. Do, my wife wants. We haven't seen any blueberry magic well, in like I mean, a long time. The pepper might... We don't know if it's gonna do a blueberry. But I'm afraid with the pepper, we're risking it. Yeah, she. Well, she. Well, you know. So let's put the blueberry down. All right. Are we? Are we good for some blueberry? That was incredibly easy. I mean, it just bit into the blueberry. 
Oh, it took half the blueberry off, so. Yeah, I, I took a little too much blueberry, people. All right, I think my wife's filming. I'm not sure. Yeah, sorry. The um. Yeah, my wife's worried a little bit too much about <laughs> Okay, so. Sorry for the weird mic sound. But I knew that the camera went off, and so I'm not sure if she's if she was on me. Yep, so I took a little too much too much blueberry on number one. But but it I, did. It, it did. It did the blueberry. Super happy with that. Let's go ahead real quick and have a little uh, little chef work. Okay, nice. I mean, just went right to the pinch grip. You know what? It's long enough. As it's chefy enough. You know, boom, boom, boom. It's sharp. So one of the thing is, is that, you know, even though I've got a nice cutting board, the edge is constantly going into that cutting board and you're always trying to like kind of bend the, the blade. You're not trying to, but you're bending the blade under. So with the harder knife, you really should have the best edge retention. Even honing it, it should be something that you don't have to do. Let's look out the profile real quick. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this down on the cutting board as far as like how flat it is. It's got a little rocker to it. There's a little bit. Yeah, yep, yeah. so it's kind of nice. Um, so if you needed to be, you know, doing some rocking, it's not gonna stop you. Absolutely beautiful. You know, we'll do the one more because we gotta give it its money's worth. So, I'm known for something that I have done before. I don't know if this knife will be able to do it. We're def. Oh, I already messed up. Yep. I was going to do the <laughs> onion tomato test. You know what? My wife will have to give me another onion. I'll have to do the onion tomato test. Um, okay. Um. She is going to have to navigate to get me an onion because I am taped in but we'll go ahead and slice up some onion so you can just there you go go ahead and just walk it on over Michelle Should I even try to do it like this? Before I even cut this one up, should I just try? Okay, I've never done an onion slash tomato test like this, so I've got the onion down. Let's see if we can. The onion's got a little slip. So it's not quite the tomato test. I just don't. I think it's just the the actual texture of the onion. I don't know that you. Well, no, that's the point. Is like it's super dense. And so when and you can do it, biting, but it's sliding. Yeah. Okay. And there you go. First time he's making. I don't know onion paper. It's not my first time, but the fact that this knife yeah. will do it is incredible. Um, I have done this before with some knives that I have sharpened. I don't remember it. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> so any of you who know the density of an onion knows that that was pretty incredible. And I'm not rushing to worry about oxidation. Okay. Wow. So a new knife in the kitchen, one that my wife will have access to because she doesn't want to worry about the oxidation. So we have an extremely sharp knife that should keep its edge for a long time. Beautiful to look at, lightweight. The handle would fit anybody. Long enough to be uh, uh, in the chef knife category, but not so long to be ridiculous. Uh, it's got just enough belly, so if you like your rocking technique, 
you can do it, but you saw me do the chopping as well. Truly versatile as far as the collaboration goes with the height. I would say there are certain people, knuckle-wise, some bigger men that might have some trouble on the height. Absolutely beautiful. I can tell by comparison to the others that the height is dead on with any of the other traditional bunkas. Okay. If you're not in the sharpening, but you love great knives, this is a great one. We're glad to be a part of it. I know that was definitely not a dull moment. That was awesome. We appreciate Luca and Sharp Edge for trusting us with this particular review. Had to, glad to have a new knife in the arsenal. You guys need to pick one up today. We'll put a link in the description. I think the pre-order in this week, so you can go ahead and get, get yours ordered and get it out to you. And once again, uh, just always trying to get you guys some honest reviews. Appreciate the opportunity. Uh, can, we're gonna continue to see you guys Friday nights at eight o'clock. Thank you for your continued support. We're so happy we're about to break 4,000 subscribers. Tell some friends, send the link, join the fun. We appreciate you guys. God bless.